Nardow here covering Fnatic's train IV split. Fnatic sends three players, Brolin, Golden, and JW with bomb IV, while Crims waits Tcon and Flusha waits ladder. Flusha throws a back six variation smoke that allows the IV players to come out and clear hell. When the IV players make contact, Crims and Flusha will start making their way out and pinching on the G2 players. Let's look at the player's POVs. Golden, one of the IV players. Backs up JW early IV to see if JW can get an early pick, however they get mollied off, then smoked off. Golden boosts JW on the rail here to see if he can see over the smoke. Then Golden waits for JW to throw the IV nade set, which is smoke left and molly right, to push back any offers holding and allows fanatic IV control. They hear Flusha's back six smoke. It's important Fnatic doesn't progress out Ivy until Flusha smokes Bloom because there can be an Opper 5 train holding Ivy. Golden will re-smoke left and wait for JW's flash before peeking. He attempts to molly top green, however this molly lands in the middle of the train. Then as the smoke fades, Golden swings left of green and gets Omnek, does damage to Kenny, and then progresses to sight and kill Nexa coming through the connector molly. Hunter is a 1v4 and opts to save. Brolin, entry fragger at Ivy. He starts off throwing sandwich smoke while Crims is smoking E box. These two smokes block a lot of vision and keep the CTs on edge if T's come out Tcon or not. He heads towards Ivy afterwards and holds Tcon flank. Once JW throws his util set, Brolin and gang take Ivy control. He waits for the smokes from Flusha and Golden, then JW's flash to peak green. The pathing for the Ivy entry here is for Brolin to clear out hell and then sandwich. He kills Kenny and proceeds to Molly Connector, which pushes Nexa out and Golden gets an easy kill. JW, the third Ivy player, he attempts to go for an early Ivy pick by flashing any Opper's holding. However, he gets mollied off. Then he gets boosted to try to see over the smoke, but he can't see anything. He gets down and then he holds right side ivy when smoke fades, however he doesn't see anyone, and then he sets up for the ivy control nades. He runs back and gets bombed from crims after throwing the nades. When Flusha and golden smokes are thrown, JW will flash for his teammates to peek and then he will hold the smoke push. When Flusha's smoke fades, he peeks a crack and then diverts his attention to left ivy because the smoke faded. His teammates cleared all angles and JW proceeds to plant in a safe position where his feet can't get shot at from connector. Flusha is the ladder player. He's also in charge of throwing the ivy split smoke. He starts off in halls and flashes ramp making it appear there's someone going for a halls control. He doesn't molly upper because he's saving it in case he needs to use it to clear ladder. He pops the windows to smoke the ivy split later. G2 smoke ladder off and Flusha gets info by going up and down the ladder like a jiggle peek except on the ladder. Flusher has ladder control and proceeds to go back up and hold for the halls push. He waits to throw his smoke until his teammates have ivy control, then he throws his smoke. He jiggle peeks on the ladder in case G2 had retaken control. He waits for his ivy teammates to make contact before peeking and pushing out, however he gets timing perfectly by Kenny. Crims is the Tcon player. He first throws an e-box smoke and groups up in halls with Flusher. He is there to hold the Hall's push and also if G2 have ladder control, him and Flusha would regain control. He walks back to Tcon. Important that he walks back because if any CTs are in Tcon, they could hear him run. He gives bomb to JW and waits for his teammates Ivy to make contact before heading into Tcon. This is very important he doesn't go inside Tcon without his teammates making contact Ivy first. He needs them to pull off their intention off Tcon so he could lurk. He slowly clears Tcon and kills Jax. Crims mollies off ladder and then picks up another molly and re mollies connector. Since Flusha dies, he will hold the ladder flank. Now I'm going to show you Fnatic's three mistakes when doing the same strat versus Movie Star. Fnatic get a pick Ivy, putting Fnatic in a 5v4. Crims gets antsy and starts clearing Tcon. He should have waited. Movie Star were a player down and had Lowell push Tcon for root info resulting in Crimson's death. The next mistake comes from Golden who doesn't wait for the ivy split smoke and gets out from Istor. And the last mistake is from Flusha not throwing the correct smoke. He throws a back 6 smoke and didn't throw the ivy split smoke. To wrap up, Fnatic's train ivy split is a great strat because it puts a lot of pressure on the outer players. Holding ivy on CT is very hard. 
Most teams will give up Ivy and spot it from somewhere else mid-round. Fnatic's Ivy Split Smoke isolates certain areas they have to clear as well as giving the players free reign to advance to hell. Moreover, Flusha and Crims are lurking ladder in Tcon and will strike when Ivy players make contact. It's a three-way prong attack. If you like the video, please upvote and subscribe. Check out this other Fnatic train strat that most teams also use. Till next time, Nart out here.